What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out the most detailed door and window extension for SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so Instant Door and Window is an extension from Valley Architects for SketchUp that allows you to create amazing doors and windows inside of your models. And so this extension has the deepest library of different styles of any extension that I've seen for creating different kinds of doors and windows. So I will link to the page where you can subscribe to this. You can either get instant door and window as a yearly subscription for $29 a year or you can get it as a part of the entire instant architecture suite which includes instant roof fence and railing um, instant road wall um, basically the entire suite of tools for architectural modeling from valley architects so i think that one's like ten dollars a month or something like that so i will link to both of those on this page but um, if you scroll down on this page, you can see images of all the different styles of doors and windows contained inside of this extension. And you can see how it is a very deep library of doors and windows. So you've got everything from like your standard doors like this one, all the way to very detailed glass doors um, that have arches and other things like that. In addition, it also has a library of different window types. And so it has both residential and commercial style windows. So again, if you go to this page and just scroll down, you can see all the different kinds of window types that are in here. But you can see how there's a large number of styles to choose from. And so let's take a look at how this works inside of SketchUp. So um, what you do is when you install Instant Door and Window, you're going to get a toolbar that looks something like this, right? You've got a number of different options in here for different things that you can do. Um, one thing to note, by the way, is there's also a number of different documentation pages showing you exactly how the extension works. So everything from just how to set up your doors and windows to how to place objects inside your model. Um, it's got information about the settings. So there's a lot of information in here about some of the different things you can do. Um, you can also create like custom profiles for trim um, at the base and at the top of your doors and windows as well. So lots of different stuff in here as well as lots of instruction on how to use it. But um, if we look at this toolbar right here, we want to focus specifically on this first option to start. And so what that's going to do is that's going to pop up the window that allows us to pick if we want to add a door or a window. So if you click on this button right here, you can see um, all of the different kinds of doors and windows, right? So you can either select, um, you could select like windows or doors or storefront, really any of these. Um, I'm going to pick entrances, for example. And then you can click on this button right here in order to see the various styles. So you can see how you can pick from any of these styles in order to add to your model. So let's say, for example, that we wanted to add, we'll go with this style right here. You would just click on it and then you would close the window. And now what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to make adjustments to the window. So you can either just kind of leave it as is, or if you want to adjust the parameters of the door like this, you can scroll down and you can see when you click on these show parameters, you can adjust things like your door width, your door height, the direction that it swings, really pretty much everything about these doors is customizable. So um, you can adjust like the rail sizes, all of that different stuff. You can use this in order to create your own doors and windows. So, and this is really the only, the only extension I've seen that gets to this level of detail. So there's just a ton of different stuff you can adjust in here. There's also different hardware, which if you click on this, you can see the different hardware types that would go on your door. So for example, if you liked this piece of hardware right here, you could click on that and that's the pull that it's going to place. You can also adjust things like the sills and the casing that's going to go around the outside. So you can see you could add like a custom casing around the outside of this object. But then once you've picked everything that you want, in here. So once you've got everything the way that you want it to be, you can click on the button for make door window. And we'll talk in a second about the hole cutting type in here. We're not going to worry too much about that for right now, but we're going to go ahead and click on the button for make door window. And what that's going to do is that's going to add the door to this model right here. And you can see how this door is very detailed. Right, So you've got a detailed trim around the outside of the door. You've got a frame in here. You've got a very realistic door in here. It even puts like a little threshold on the outside. Then if you look at it on the back side, you can see the trim as well. And so that's probably the strength of instant door and window is the detail that's contained inside of its library. So say we wanted to add a different kind of door. I could just click in here. Um, again, I could adjust any of the parameters that I want to adjust. You could also set this to include the materials. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. We're not going to worry too much about that for right now, but you can just click on make door window. 
You can click to place this and it's gonna place the door in the window. And so let's say we wanted to add some windows to this wall instead of just doors. You can click in here, go to the windows option, or you could just go to all as well and then just see everything that's contained inside of the extension. But you can go find a window that you like, maybe something like this one right here, and you can bring that in as well. Note that again, you can make adjustments to the kind of window that's in here. So notice how you can set this to be, you know, casement, single hung, all those different kinds. You can also adjust the size of the muntins. You can adjust the frame as well. Again, kind of like you can with the doors. You can also adjust the sill that gets placed on the front side of the back side. So you can also add a lintel to the top like this. Notice how there's a number of different built-in styles. And I believe you can customize that lintel as well. But now we're just going to click on the make door window function. We're going to click in here like this. And that's going to add the window to your wall. All right, so now let's take a little look at the wall cutting functionality and how this extension makes openings. So there may be a little bit of trial and error involved. A lot of this is going to depend on how you model your walls. So for example, if I was to add a, let's stick with this window right here. So if I was to add the window to the wall right here and select a 3D option, what that's going to do is that's going to model out the window all as a single component on the front side right here, right? So if I was to click on make door and window and place it on this wall, which is just a flat wall, that's just going to model this out with an exterior view. If you look on the outside, there's no like interior frame or anything like that, right? But it is using the component wall cutting functionality inside of SketchUp in order to make your opening. So this could be a really easy way to quickly add windows to like single depth walls like this. So there's another option in here. If we click on this for double wall, notice how that picture changes. And basically what that's going to do is that's going to detail out the trim on the back side of the wall as well. So if we click on make door and window and do the same thing. Now, if we look at this one, notice how with this one, it doesn't like that single depth wall right? So it's having trouble finding the back side of the wall in order to add that component. So you get an error message. So you really want to select this option for double wall when you have a wall that actually has depth like this one. And so notice how right here, what we have is we just have a wall that's just made up of raw geometry. Well, if I click in here and I click on the double wall like this and then click make door window and click on this wall, what it's going to do is it's going to add trim on the back side as well as the window on the front side. And what it's doing is it's basically cutting a hole in the wall like this. But notice how it doesn't really move around. So moving this around can be a little bit tricky. Now what you can do in a raw wall like this is you can draw a box around the whole thing, making sure that you're picking up all of the geometry that makes up the hole in the wall. And you could move that around. And that's going to allow you to have an opening that actually kind of moves around here. The only problem with this is it doesn't like it when your wall is grouped, right? So if I take my wall like this, then I add my window. So if I add it with the double wall with the, we're going to go with the make hole through wall function set right here. But if we click on this and then we click on our wall, and then I switch back to my tool, my select tool. Notice how what it says is it needs to have the wall faces to be active. So basically what it means is it means it can't figure out where the faces are because the faces are in a grouper component. So for this to work 100%, and it did work, but things get a little bit weird, it likes it better if you're actually inside of the group. So if I click in here and then add this when you're inside of the group like this, then it's going to work a lot better. Notice how you don't get an error message like this. Note that there is also an option to use the component wall cutting functionality built into SketchUp. Um, if you want to notice how this shows you a little preview on that. So the only problem with that is that's not going to cut through a double wall like this. So if we were to add it that way, so click on door window, click off here. Notice how it's only cutting the opening on one side and not the other. So, um, and you're getting a little bit of misalignment here. So that one I'm not using quite as much as the, uh, as the actual make hole through wall, but I'd recommend you test them both and see what works for you. And so one thing to note is if you want materials to show up 
for your walls, notice how they need to be, or for your doors and windows, notice how they need to be in your SketchUp model. And so if I click in here right now and I check the box for materials, notice how there's no materials in here that are really uh, that are really relevant to what we're trying to do here. So what you would need to do is you would need to add those actively in your model. So really what I wanna do is I just wanna draw a little swatch in here like this. And let's say that we wanted to use our wood material from inside of the wood section right here. So I'm just gonna add the cherry wood right here. Well, now that I've done that, now if I try to add a door into this wall and I click on my materials, notice how the wood cherry is gonna show up because it's now an active material inside of our model. So now if I click on make door and window, it's going to use that cherry material. And note that you can do the same thing for the frame. So. You could add all the materials right here, click on make door and window. Well, notice how now when I bring that in, what it's gonna do is it's gonna apply that material from your model to the actual window itself. So you can use this in order to quickly apply materials. You can also select an object that's already in your model. And let's say that we wanted a different wood material. So maybe this wood veneer 01. You can select an object that's already in your model, click on the add materials function, and you can pick the material. So in this case, I'm gonna pick the wood veneer 01 for the frame, for the sill, for the lintel, and for the casing. And I'm gonna click on the add materials function. That's gonna add materials to your window like this. And notice how it only picked these up on the front. That's because it created this stuff on the back separately. So if you wanted to add materials to those, you need to make sure they're selected as well. But we're gonna do the same thing, so wood veneer 01, veneer 01, click on add materials, just like that. So you can use this in order to quickly add materials even if you didn't have them when you originally added these to your model. All right, so I will link to this extension in the notes down below, as well as to some other tutorials on some other instant architecture functions that are contained inside of this extension as well. Big thank you to my supporters on Patreon for voting on this extension. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.